Hello everyone, I'm back to posting videos on my channel after, after exams and now that I'm back you need to know that roughly one year ago, well I published my first video roughly one year ago, so now that I'm back I want to do a little bit of a informal video to party have fun, I got, I've got this. So what I will do is look back, see my videos that I've done in the past and uh, well criticize myself and see that I look terrible with that beard. That's gonna be it. So let me actually open this up. I, I wanted a cake originally but I forgot to buy it. So anyway, my channel is this one at the top if you search for Nikolov. However, however, I just discovered that there is a, another channel with the same name, choose subscribers and one video. My channel is this one, not the one before, even though that looked pretty cool. And my very, very, very first video is this one. As you can see, it's one year ago. And it's not actually the first one. The first one I recorded, uh, it was published as a one, two, three, four, five, seventh video because it wasn't, uh, well, I, I had to wait until Adaptive Transparency was actually released, but still let's watch the first video I've ever published. This is like the very first one. The background music okay, is so like... In Plasma 5.21, I introduced a new feature I call Margin Areas. Let's add a Margin Separator widget to activate it. How does this work? Well, you can see that the margin is bigger to the right of... I was so proud of this feature like so proud the separator we can move it and the widgets will resize accordingly fun fact one year after this i'm completely rewriting the code and it's bad it's bad so now that i look back not only the video is like weird background music and it's clearly me reading a script there isn't any emotion in the voice but even the code was bad so <laughs> This feature is actually pretty powerful. We can add more than one margin separator, allowing for so many different combinations. So many different combinations. Yeah, I, I actually had the script and I read it multiple times and I picked the part that I actually pronounced correctly. So that was, it took a week to produce it. Now I would do it in, I don't know, five minutes. Then let's go with, I don't know, how to center task manager icons in KD Plasma, which is a video that I actually regretted after like a day and then after a week I was like okay no I, I did the right thing because it's one minute and 80 seconds on me making Hi, fun of Today tutorials. Today how to center the task manager icons in your panel. I'll warn you that this is quite a pro feature that might take more than one video and this one might be quite long. First of all right click on the panel. This is essential. If you get it wrong nothing will work. Then Click on edit panel. Do not let the mouse slip. By the way, the background music. The background music, I took it from Carbo Space Program, the video game, which took it from the author of which name I actually forgot, sorry about that. Kevin, Kevin something, sorry. And uh, I just stick to that background music for videos and videos and vi there's at least 50 videos using that background music. Click to add a panel, click on edit panel. Then, and this is very hard, find the Add Spacers buttons. Press it two times, not one. Look at how slowly I'm moving the mouse. That's actually on purpose. I think I even slowed down the video to match my voice. Not three. That that was very fun to make. And my I got comments on like, why did you do this? Just show me how to do it. There's no reason to be ironic and uh, well probably the right but who cares this is the gnomon let me start from the beginning this so oh, hi everyone this was the very first big video it's not big but it got a lot of views compared to the usual so it was like the very first big video for me and uh, people kept referencing it to say wow you're really open views and stuff like that so i was happy Today I wanted to try out GNOME 40 and of course what made me try this is beauty and I really have to yep, say that's that the design truly beautiful. is stunning, I love it. But another feature that I was really impressed by just 
even one year after that, I, I still love the gestures, like love it. And luckily now they are coming to Plasma. I can safely say that gestures, one-to-one -one gestures are coming to Plasma soon. Even by installing the system, are gestures. It's really easy, like Ikeri Plasma on Wayland, to implement like a gesture that it's recognized and when it's recognized you just do the whole animation but actually implementing a gesture that you can do a bit and then go back yeah nicolo you're boring next one w what else do we have so i had a bit of devlogging which was like 40 minutes i'm surprised that so many people actually watched it and then there's this one this is within the videos that i totally regret like 100% regret. I actually have to hide this somewhere, like unlisted. Hi, my name is... What's that? Oh, this is Nicola Venerandi. And as you already know, if you read the newspaper this morning, this sentence, I still know it by heart, just by how many times I repeated it. I recorded this exact scene like 20, 30 times. My channel just hit 1,000 subscribers and, and it still has the same background music as all of the videos and I'm super happy about it, especially because in, there's microphone noises, the camera going out of focus. This month I got a lot of support from both KD developers and users, an amazing community and every time i would publish a new video the one thing i would be most looking forward to would be the comments both yeah yeah the feedback and amazing feedback but the cringest thing is where when i do this this video is thank you that's so cringe i, I don't even want to look at this let's switch there's this one this one i'm still happy i have done that if i remember correctly it's like slightly better Hi. slightly so like my face is slightly more shaved, I guess. <laughs> the, the background is still pretty bad, but to be honest, it's not, uh, if you see like uh, all of the things in the background, like the drawings, they are there. Uh, it's not like I can switch room, change stuff. So at the end, I just went with a green screen because there was no way I just could um, fetch, could get a good background, like no way. As Pride Month starts, I wanted to put out an extremely important message. Everyone should feel welcome. Yeah, back then I was like reading the script from the notebook and it was pretty bad. Like in front of a camera, it was so hard to me, for me to actually say anything. So, but still I, I'm happy I did this video. It, this is the first time I lost a good number of su subscribers because of a video I've done and good. And KD. You might accuse me of still the same background music. We're to signaling line companies doing pride, but we don't do it for promotion or money. We do it because KD is a community of people that have to feel sorry about that. Now, next one. Okay, let's go. Let's quickly give a look to this one because this one was quite it changed I changed a lot of style was style with this one. So now I got a new camera. This is the first video I did with the new camera. Maybe not, but I, I also got a tripod, which I'm currently using. It's pretty bad though. <laughs> I need a new, a new tripod. And this is the first video I did with the tripod. And back then, still seeing background music. So a couple of weeks ago, news broke up. It's, the volume is lower, but it's still there. And on the background, I had like trees because back then I just loved going into the forest and I kind of did not care about the fact that it takes an hour to get there, which means I need to go there, it takes an hour, and then set up everything to record in the middle of nothing with no power outlet, and then record, go back, and then edit. I mean, no wonder I did one video every week. Got that apparently Microsoft was discontinuing their experiment with Windows 10X. At first, I thought, Thank God, they understood that 10x design was going nowhere. But then, but then, new info came out and apparently they just decided that having two operating systems, Windows 10 and 10. I think I also got slightly better in actually speaking in front of a camera. Next, in, well, in here I'm still a bit, you know, not really confident. The worst part of this video is the fact that the microphone broke. That, like it, it, it got disconnected.
set of life tiles which and never now there really is background out, it was a good idea noise and uh, the beginning and now we just have it's horrible next one this is interesting because i completely screwed up the For video quality that. because the qt However, thingy that we use one positive side still in the forest obviously because i liked the trees but one positive side is that it was rather impressive that I could just take a topic like the shadows from a plasma thing, which is so niche, and just took for 15 minutes, but I, it could have been one hour, honestly. I could have just done one hour of just talking. I think that it's not really a good idea to, as a DDR, Lucas don't support it. So how can we achieve that effect anyway? As you know, we need to make the eight parts of the shadow, left, right, top, bottom and the four corners. See here, I'm talking and then I got back. I popped up Inkscape and then I started screen recorded, screen recording, sorry, separately, can speak now. And um, you know, that doesn't really work because it's better for me to speak about what I'm doing right now. And in the video, I'm just imagining how things should be in the video, but then I just forgot some parts and doesn't really fit well. Next one. Where is the, this one I remember doing like in front of my house. That was actually rather <laughs> embarrassing. I, I'm so worried that my family like sees me while I'm recording. Hi, today- Oh, and it's also out of focus. Beautiful. Today I'm here to talk about blur. <laughs> it's completely out of focus. <laughs> in KDE. Now, what we usually call blur is actually a more complex effect, effect structure. So there is the applet, which is transparent underneath it to be honest for me using a phone with a you know phone recorder it's as a bit hard to actually it was a bit hard now i'm slightly better hopefully i'm focused right right now you should me you should see me not blurred but back then it was a bit hard to see if uh, i was actually focused what i do is i go with the scrock pie this one and then i do actually see me while i'm recording and then now I also use OBS, which is here. So I also see that there's all of the windows. I will buy a new monitor to actually see OBS while I'm recording and that will help improve everything. But new monitor is money and I don't have money right now. By the way, by the way, let's do this now since, since it's like 14 minutes since the start. Thank you for everybody. You know, I'm doing this as a hobby in my free time. And if I'm able to do so while studying for university is because I don't have any other work and to not have any other work, I need to make some money out of this. And if I do, it's only thanks to the people who donate me through PayPal and subscribe to the Patreon. So if you want to join the club, there is, a, there is even a secret Telegram group where uh, donators get. So you might be interested in that. And let's get back to the videos. Not this one though. This one is boring. Go away. This is, okay, this is another video where I completely changed the quality. Hopefully for the better. <laughs> Even though I, I, I still got a lot of stuff wrong. Like now it's focused. I'm not blurred anymore. The color correction is wrong. My skin is off, awfully off. Pine really deserves. The volume is off too, but. Oh yeah, there's no background music because of YouTube actually striking me. Whoops. There was background music when I edited the whole thing. The first Pine64 device I had was a Pine book. Oh, by the way, good job actually to Pine because they do really do make, ah, they do really do make, they do great books. I was in a Flix book, Flixbus going back from Flores to Genoa. And I had just met a friend who gifted me that Pine book as a birthday gift. And I remember that I would by the way, whenever you hear something like did me that pine book as a birthday, birthday gift, gift, it's because I edited out me actually pronouncing something wrong. And if you notice, Just I say that while that pine book as a there is something else in the screen because I just put something else. So you don't notice that I edited the words out. Now I, I don't even care. Just listen to me even when I speak wrong. Birthday. And I remember that I was in this small Flixbus seat with this small Pinebook computer and I opened it and my first thought was, whoa, 
that screen is really good. Whoa. It was a full... I was having a lot of fun doing videos with the phone, actually. Next one. W what's next? What's next? Now, around here, I changed the style of the covers. And this new style with the blur is nice. Like, I like it. Plus one. However, <laughs> it's roughly also when I did this, <laughs> which is debatable, debatable, on June, I highly debatable, but uh, I mean, I thought, why not? Both a new you can also see here that I'm trying at least to have a decent background with the games uh, and, you know, the drawings. I, I, I'm actually really proud of those drawings because I paid an artist to do them and they're in my poetry book. But not like I've published it, but in the PDF, it's in the poetry PDF. Domain nico.love for my new website. My old one was nicolao.fenerandi.com, that's way too long. So with a new domain, I also, a new look, took my book long. So with my old one was nicolao.fenerandi.com, way too long. That's what she said. Next one. Now, this one is the single video I had most fun doing. It was super fun to do this one because I went to vacation with a new device, I mean, what more do you want out of life? I went to vacation with a new tablet to play with, with Linux on it. Mm. Uh, and my girlfriend. And my girlfriend was that. I bought the microphone, the charger, another charger, my computer charger. And then I also brought the tripod and the cables. And I actually intended to record while I was in Venice. And my girlfriend, um, well, kindly let me know that that wasn't going to happen. So, yeah. This is the, my favorite part. By the way, it's still the same background music. Now, I mean, I changed it because now it's lo-fi, but I used the lo-fi background for 50 videos, <laughs> another 50 videos. <laughs> the gym pad is pretty though. And my girlfriend is too, I mean, sure. Then what else? Around here, Everything changed. Actually, everything changed with, where is it, where is it, where is it? This video. This video changed everything. The first thing I do after, it's still me trying to get a decent background and failing. And also this hoodie is pretty bad, but actually reviewing this video from, reviewing, reacting, sorry, to this video from the Linux experiment brought me a lot of views and a couple of days after this one, I did the one uh, to Linux, uh, Linux challenge, and I got ton of views, like a lot. So this really changed everything. A new release of Kitty Plasma is published, is go see the reviews, like the people talking about it, the articles, the videos, and what I act from the videos are all uh, the videos say it's new, the good parts of new and the... By the way, this is a good point. We don't get to see enough reviews of KD Plasma, which is weird because uh, whenever we release a new vid, a new release, sorry, whenever we release a new release, there is lots of video talking about what's new, but there's actually very little saying, do I actually like it, like it though? Reviews are something we lack and if you know how to write and you have an opinion, then I invite you to write some parts of the, the bad parts of the new version of KD Plasma. However, most of the times, most of the videos, even if come out like weeks later, are not about like doing reviews, opinions, uh, but rather just a list, good stuff and a lot of praise. It today. Check to KDE Plasma in the past, a full dedicated... Ah, is, yeah, right, this is when I started using OBS, which means I had this period, which was pretty long, 
after I started using OBS, but before actually buying this new computer I have, everything was laggy. It was so laggy. Gated video series about it. It's been a while since I used it in production. Well, to be fair, elementary as is pretty good, so. And I accidentally closed everything. Okay, let's do the very last, last one, because at this point we're getting to the very recent videos and there's no really point in me insulting myself for the recent videos because, you know, they're not old enough for me to actually try to be superior. And um, I mean, what do we have? What do we have? I started doing live screen. Well, let's see the first video I did with a green screen, which... Uh, is this one. Yes, this is the very first time I have a green screen. And by the way, I think this is also, let me see if I'm, sorry. Now, this is the first time where my hair are reasonable. I'll just say that. Also, this scene is pretty funny themselves. It's, it shouldn't be that hard to make this. If you do your own, <laughs> whoops, that I wasn't, you still, that was funny to see, not to live through see me right yeah and that's it like um this was actually fun i haven't eaten enough of this so i'll just stop and start eating them hopefully hopefully obs screws up the recording and i have to do this whole thing again because it was funny and i get to eat more of this if instead the recording is fine then sadly i have to do more videos and with you well we'll see you tomorrow bye bye see more of my videos Subscribe.